Good morning, Connections. It's Thursday, June 24th, 21. We are well into the week, and <laughs> sun did come out for a little bit yesterday afternoon. I hope you caught it, because apparently today, more rain. So during this time of rain and us spending more time indoors than perhaps usual, what a great time to, to seek God and to press in to become even more than we were last week. That's the goal each and every week to improve, each and every week to grow, each and every week to become better equipped for whatever comes our way, even those storm clouds. So let's get started. Speaking of improving, I want to talk today about confidence. Confidence related to, to trust that we spoke of yesterday. And it is confidence that really is what will bring the fruitfulness that we spoke of a few days ago prior to that. Confidence. In trying to explain confidence and trying to get a handle on confidence, I'd like to move it just briefly away from uh, Bible study <laughs> and talk about motorcycles. Now, I know, indulge me, I don't talk about motorcycles a lot, but most know that I have a passion for motorcycles. And that stems from very early experience for me. Um, my first mini bike when I was a child, and I've been around motorcycles, owned motorcycles for most of my life. And certainly now, uh, more recently, enjoying them even more. And I'd like to be able to share that passion. And I have a great confidence that comes from a lifelong experience of being around motorcycles. And as I share my passion, I sometimes have overlooked that others are just beginning. And they don't have any experience with motorcycles. And so what perhaps comes more easily to me is more difficult for them. The bravest of my motorcycle friends as of late is John Larkin, who also has a passion to learn about motorcycles. So much so that he went out and got his motorcycle endorsement by going to a weekend uh, training class. I'm certain he has watched many YouTube videos and studied the driver's manual. So he has all the practical knowledge of how to ride a motorcycle, how to ride a motorcycle safely. What he lacks is confidence. That's right. Confidence comes from being willing to, to get on a motorcycle and learn. And the only way that you're going to build confidence in, in learning how to ride a motorcycle is by doing it. And it's going to take time. And the more John goes out on a motorcycle and returns home safely, the more confidence he will have. All right. So let's switch that back to how that relates to prayer. Those of us who have been in relationship with God for a very long time, there might be a disconnect between how easy it is for us to seek God and seek answers and hear from God we forget that those that are just coming into relationship with God, they may have all of the, they may attend every worship service. 
They may listen intently to every sermon. They may read their Bible each and every day. But then comes the, the rest of it. Because without confidence, there's not going to be any building of, of trust. There's not going to be any fruitfulness. You can have all the, the, the knowledge and understanding of how it's supposed to work. But if you aren't willing to practice it, It never, never takes hold. So you guessed it, much of what we're doing on, uh, through our devotional is helping you build confidence. The more that you turn to, to God for your answers, the more you seek him, the more you, you develop this discipline, the more times God comes through for you, the greater the confidence you will have. Confidence that his way is the way. That Jesus died for you. For your salvation and to advocate for you to the Father. That whatever you need, whatever you pray, will be given to you. We may know all of those things from passages of Scripture, but have you witnessed those things developing in your life? If not, that's a lack of confidence. God has more, but it takes practice can't just be a, a Christian in theory. We have to press farther. Hebrews 10, 19. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body. Hebrews is forecasting to a place where we are so confident just to step into the courts of heaven because of what Jesus accomplished for us. So the first step, I trust you, Lord. Next step, practice. Practice stepping into the courts of heaven and spending time. That's what builds confidence. Now, remember, when we're talking about Hebrews, we're talking about a, a letter directed towards people who have a vast knowledge of God. But perhaps what they lack is the experience They've, they've had the, the book knowledge for some time. And now they're being called to put it into to practice. I love the instructions because it's all based on things that are, are known to them. Scriptures that have been around for thousands of years by the time that they are receiving this letter. And I hope they're having an aha moment. I hope you have an aha moment this morning as you recognize that perhaps you have had a working knowledge of how this is supposed to work for a very long time. And now is the time you are being called to put it into practice. And that only comes from entering the courts of heaven. As awkward as it might feel, as uns unsure and unsteady as, it, as a newbie on a motorcycle. Trust me, in time, it will become second nature. 
just like all the other skills that you've learned that you don't even think about anymore. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from the guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Now, the beauty of this process is that we don't go it alone. That Jesus is there each and every step of the way. Perhaps the first time you were on two wheels was not on a motorcycle, but on a bicycle. I experienced as, as a as a parent, and I experienced as a child of that parent running alongside, just keeping the bike balanced until enough speed can be attained <laughs> before I run out of breath to launch on two wheels. What a fantastic picture that is for what Jesus is willing to do for us as we step into the courts of heaven and he is right there at our side making sure that we gain momentum and build confidence. Trust God and then put it into practice. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. But can you picture that child and, and the parent lets go and what, what happens? That front wheel goes everywhere. <laughs> Everybody holds their breath, and, including the child, as they, they gain their balance, start pedaling a little faster, and that wheel straightens out. That's what God has for you. Desires for you to, to catch and move out. and become an accomplished prayer warrior, an accomplished part of the body of Christ. And just a citizen of the kingdom, knowing that anytime you need him, anytime you need an answer, anytime that you are struggling, anytime you are interceding, just hop on and go. That's what God has for you today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to build confidence. Many of us have been traveling for a very long time with you, but haven't been urged to, to put it to practice. We have all the knowledge and understanding. We've watched many preachers. We've heard it all a, a thousand times, it feels like. You are urging us off the couch. You are urging us off the sideline. You are urging us to take hold of you. And to put all of the, what we've learned into practice. And that's much more complicated than we want to admit. Help us to be doers today, Lord. 
stewards of this life that you have given us. Urge us off the couch or urge us into the game. For your glory and honor, Lord. We desire to be fruitful. Help us, Lord, in our discomfort and our unbelief. We need you today, Lord. We are going to step out into faith. We are going to put everything that we've learned into practice. And we're going to choose to trust you. that you will always be at our side. There is so much to accomplish and so little time to accomplish it. We each have loved ones that are away from you. We each have, have friendships that need you. We pray for all those that need healing today, all those going through procedures at the hospital, all those in recovery. We pray for one another and for all of those that you desire for us to reach. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Time to lose those training wheels and build confidence. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning. We'll round out our conversation on prayer as we move towards Sunday's worship. Know that I love you and I miss you until we get to see each other again. Be good.